Carol again here. Today is a very cold day here, and I think I need my oven on, so I'm just going to take this opportunity and bake some oatmeal raisin cookies. So, I've already got everything measured out. This recipe I got off of the back of a sack of flour. <laughs> And I've had it for a long time, but it's still good. And it's just a simple recipe, but really good. Okay. Okay, we're going to put, uh, it calls for one cup of butter. Two sticks of butter equals a cup. So we'll go ahead and put that in there at room temperature. Okay. and a cup and a half of brown sugar. Put that on and just mix it. I'm going to go ahead and add a teaspoon of vanilla to the egg. I've got a teaspoon of vanilla in one egg, beaten. And I'm going to beat that until it's light and fluffy. I put A cup and a half of flour and one teaspoon of baking soda. And I put the baking soda in with the flour and I always use a whisk to make sure that it's not lumpy and, and mixed in there really good. Okay. We're going to mix in the oats next. It is really cold here today, and I'll tell you, everything is kind of hard. Now we're going to mix in the flour. A little bit at a time. We've had a lot of cold weather this week, and it's supposed to last us another week. Now we've got to mix in our nuts and our raisins. I may have to put that beater back on and mix those as cold as it is. It's not wanting to cooperate. Here we go. And 
now. Let's see if we can't get this. Just barely missed. There we go. Okay, now I'm going to go over here and uh, fill the first pan of cookies and get them in the oven. Drop them by tablespoons. I'll use a smaller one. chocolate chip oatmeal and I trade off you know one time I might do chocolate chip and the next time the raisins or sometimes even cranberry they're all good I don't worry too much whether I get the right amount on there because they'll all taste good. Okay, now we'll put the first batch in. Okay, we've got them in the oven, timed for 11 minutes at 350. Uh, we'll come back and put the other uh, pan in. Okay, we've got the second batch ready to go. When the others come out of the oven, these will be ready to go in. And they sure are good. Okay, here's our quick and easy oatmeal raisin cookies and I have to watch how many of these I make because my husband likes them way too well. Well, as soon as the teapot gets ready, I'm going to have a nice cup of tea and enjoy sample these cookies.